Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the gradient tool in Adobe InDesign. So to start with, I've created a new document. I'm just going to left click any of the shape tools. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to draw a circle. Now I'm just going to remove the stroke and select the fill and just give this a color for now. And just position that circle centrally. And with the circle selected, we can then select the gradient tool from the toolbar on the left. Now, if we go into the gradient palette on the right, by default, our gradient goes from white to black. So if we click up here in the top left corner, there we go. So we've set our white point, that is the left part of the gradient. And as we drag, when we release our mouse button, we will be positioning the black end of the gradient. So it goes from white up here down to black in the bottom right. So let's do that again. We can do a shorter gradient. So if we drag a shorter line, the gradient will be much more pronounced. The colors will be a lot harsher. We can even drag outside the circle and do the same again. And it's showing now more of the midpoint of the gradient because the white is up here and the black is up here. So in between those two colors, there's a lot more gray. So that's what we're seeing here. And the direction that you drag the gradient also makes a difference on the angle. So you can see here, that was an angle of 28. And if I drag from the top right through to the bottom left, the angle is minus 133 degrees. So let's add a gradient. We can also single left click inside the circle and it will just add a gradient for us. And in the swatches palette, we can select a swatch. Now we're going to left click and hold on this blue swatch here and then hover, don't let go of your mouse button, just hover over the gradient palette, you'll see it switches. And then what you can do is still holding your mouse button, you can drop this blue swatch that we selected anywhere on the gradient slider or on top of a color that is already there. So we've now replaced that white with blue. And we can do the same again with a darker shade of blue. So we'll left click on this one at the bottom hover over the gradient palette icon, and then we'll drop that on the black at the end. Now we can reverse the gradient quickly by just selecting this button. So it just swaps it from left to right, right to left. We can also adjust the angle by specifying it in this box here. So let's go 45 degrees and it will put that on an angle for us. And we can also change the type from linear, which goes from left to right, top to bottom, one side to the other effectively, we can change that to radial and it will go from the center out towards the edges. And again, we can reverse that as we like. Now you can add more colors. So let's left click on the magenta. That's the pink color here. We'll hover over the gradient icon and we'll drop this on. And if we select this color, you'll see that the location changes as we move it. We can also swap gradients around and reorder them. So we could put the magenta, the pink, all the way on the right. And then the dark blue in the middle, with that selected, we can type 50% as our location and it will position that exactly in the middle. We can also left click on the light blue and just drag that down and it will remove it from the gradient slider. And then we can adjust our other ones to take up the space. You've also got these little diamond shapes as well that you can use to adjust where the midpoint of the gradient is. So usually it's quite nice to have these in the middle so you get a nice smooth graduation from one color to the other. However, you can drag it all the way to the right and you'll see that now the darker blue is much more dominant than the pink. And you can also drag it to the left and then the pink becomes much more dominant. But I'm just going to position this in the middle. 
So again, we can type 50% and it puts that back in the middle. And then we can drag the pink into the middle. Go into the swatches palette. We'll select the red and we're going to introduce another color. So drag that, hover over the gradient icon, drop it on the end there. Adjust the angle to 45. And there we go, we've created our gradient. And what we can actually do is with that shape selected in the swatches palette, we can create a new swatch and it will be called new gradient swatch. And we can double click that and we can give this a name. Awesome gradient. And you can adjust a few of the settings here, some of the different colors that make up that gradient. And the good thing about having the gradient as a swatch is you can quickly easily access it, use it, and modify any instance of it in the document. And there we go, that's how we create gradients in Adobe InDesign. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.